One of the greatest additions to Isotope and Site 2 is a module called Intelligibility. In this tutorial, we're going to see how this module works in conjunction with the Relay plugin. The Intelligibility meter uses an inter plugin communication to receive audio data called Relay. This plugin allows to monitor the dialogue's intelligibility in the context of different listener environments. We're going to go over how to configure this plugin in a minute. But before, let me go ahead and explain how the intelligibility module works. The intelligibility module displays three different meters. The top meter bar is the intelligibility meter. This meter displays the estimated intelligibility of the selected source, represented by a gray dot that moves from left to right. The drop-down menu above the intelligibility meter let us select between different noise levels in a listener environment. We can choose between low noise, medium noise, or high noise. The recommended range is displayed by this green shade. Now, the green range display updates to reflect the suggested range of dialogue intelligibility, in this case, when listening to the full mix in low, medium, or high noise environment. Once we properly configure our intelligibility meter, this gray dot represents the estimated intelligibility of the selected source, in our case, our dialogues. In the center, we have another meter, which represents the source meter, which displays the perceived loudness in phone level. The thin meter above it, represented by the green line, represents the history meter that displays the range of our source meter level values over the course of 10 seconds. Lastly, down at the bottom, we have the difference meter, which displays the estimated difference between the perceived loudness levels of the output and the selected source. Here as well, there is a very thin meter above it, which is the history meter, which display the range of difference meter values over the course of 10 seconds. So now I'm gonna go ahead and explain how to properly work with Relay plugin in conjunction with Isotope 2 and the intelligibility module. And then I'm gonna move forward and explain as well how to use the Relay plugin with the spectrogram. The Intelligibility and the Spectrogram are the only two modules within the Insight 2 that works with the Relay plugin. I'm going to show you my routing from the mix window. So all the way to the left I have my dialog tracks which have been submixed into this auxiliary tracks. So all my dialogs are feeding these auxiliary tracks. The output of the submix is feeding a submaster where I have insert an instance of Insight and the output of my submaster, it's feeding a master rec. Plus I have some dipped and undipped stems that I'm not gonna cover in this tutorial. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is to insert inside on the master or on the final track where all your tracks are gonna be routed to. In this case, my submaster. And as you can see here, I have an instance of my inside. Now, since we're talking about the intelligibility module, that's the one I have over here. I can always minimize this window and here we have all the modules. As you can see here, my insight says no source found. In order to have the intelligibility module to properly work, we have to insert an instance of Relay. To do so, I'm gonna insert Relay on the dialog master bus. If other plugins are inserted on the dialog bus, Ad Relay is the last available slot in order to have this module to work properly with the intelligibility module. So over here, I'm going to go on the last insert on my dialog submix. Choose multi-channel, isotope, relay. Now, the great thing about Relay is that this plugin can send data and receive information from select inter-plugin communication, also known as IPC, compatible with Isotope plugins. Isotope 2 is one of those plugins, and Relay works really well with the intelligibility meter and the spectrogram meter, which we're going to take a look in a few seconds. So now that I have inserted my Relay plugin on my dialog mix bus, in order to make sure that every single dialog will be intelligible enough, I have to go back into my Insight and under the Select Source, I need to tell Insight from which source to get the input from. In this case, I'm gonna select Dialog Relay, click OK, and now we're up to speed.
Now, if I move to my spectrogram, I'm gonna minimize my intelligibility meter and move to my spectrogram. Through the inter-plugin communication with Relay, I can send up to eight sources that can be displayed into my spectrogram. Now, right now, I only have selected my dialogues, so I can go into Select Source, Dialog, OK. And right now, as you can see now, my dialogues, I'm gonna zoom in, are properly represented by a different color within my spectrogram. And this concludes our video series. I hope this was informative and that you can get the best out of Insight 2. People at Isotope worked really hard to create one of the best metering plugin on the market. So now it's up to you to mix with confidence that your program material will always be up to specs. Thank you for watching. Ciao.